North Otago's challenge for the Ranfilly Shield is proudly brought to you by ITM. <laughs> The Renfilly Shield is New Zealand's greatest prize. It's uh, the trophy that every union strives to get its hands on. And some, like North Otago, have never had that privilege. Well, they get their opportunity today here in Omaru as the current holders Auckland bring it to small town New Zealand for the second time this season. Last week it was Gisborne. Today it's to the South Island as North Otago mount their 11th challenge for the famous log of wood. Auckland has been here before. In 1993, they bought the Shield on tour. North Otago scored first. Auckland finished with a century of points, and John Kerwin scored eight tries on that day. It's not a bad sort of a day here in Omaru. A little bit on the cool side, but a lovely winter's day and no wind uh, to speak of. And uh, joining me in commentary today, former All Black Steve Devine. And uh, Steve, a big day for Omaru, big day for North Otago. Yes, the uh, Ranfilly Shield really brings out the best in country New Zealand with a, with a good turnout here today, and uh, hopefully it'll be a very exciting game. Not a bad sort of a crowd. Uh, you can see the grandstand on the far uh, side of the field there, but a lot of the patrons have gathered at uh, respective ends of the ground, I guess, and in, uh, in the corporate tents, etc. And so, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a big day in Omaru, the Ranfilly Shield on tour, and uh, man on the sideline, former all the captain, uh, Stu Wilson, and Stewie, it's almost uh, shirt sleeves weather. Oh, no, come on. Oh, they target. They got one out of the box today, Nisbo. Beautiful day. The sun is shining. The corporate tents are bulging. A good sized crowd, too. Beautiful conditions here. No wind. The flags up on the hill are just fluttering at the moment. Wonderful conditions. There was a curtain raiser played on the field before, and uh, it, it did nothing to the track. It's good. It's reasonably firm underfoot after some heavy rain, but. North Otago and Omaru, you have pulled one out of the bag. What a great day for the uh, the Ranfilly Shield to go up again on for, for the grabs. OK, well, here's the Auckland uh, forward pack and uh, Curtis Hayu, one of the uh, key performers in the pack, no doubt. Normally a lock forward, of course, but uh, Hayu playing at number six today, which certainly gives uh, Auckland extra line-out options. And in the back line, Asaya Toiava has become something of a forgotten man in New Zealand rugby. But at just 22 years of age, he's still got time very much on his side. And fullback is sure to suit his elusive running style. Ben Artinger is uh, captaining Auckland uh, today in this Ranfilly Shield match. So the holders of the Ranfilly Shield have gone uh, to our left, which uh, means, loosely speaking, they'll be running north to south. And uh, the Ranfilly Shield, of course, the biggest to prize, well, a New Zealand sport, I guess. Now, the locals. And a big welcome, too, for North Otago. And their coach, uh, Mike Mullins, will uh, run out several newcomers in today's game. But one of those most certainly isn't Ross Hay. The open side flanker plays his 88th game for the province today, and he'll be looking for another big season after being named the Heartland Player of the Year in 2007. And there's plenty of experience at halfback for North Otago, where Hamish McKenzie will make the start. He's played over 50 games for Wairarapa Bush, also named in the New Zealand Division All-15. Another player who's been around a while is second five, Nathan Cunningham. Today, his 48th game for North Otago. So there's the bench for North Otago. Wait. Vinny Munro is uh, our referee today. And conditions absolutely perfect. Auckland starting their Shield uh, season with a 54-3 win over Poverty Bay. They wouldn't have been that happy with the performance. They led 35-3 at half time. But uh, Poverty Bay played really well in the second half. So let's see how North Otago get on today. They were winners of the Meads Cup last season. Now this is a big game for them. And Lockie Munro will make the kickoff. And the Shield Challenge is underway. North Otago to receive. And uh, they've taken it down uh, nice and cleanly. Hamish McKenzie is the halfback. And immediately they try and work the blind side, but it's a knock on as uh, wing three quarter Lemmy Marsoe running onto it. But he's lost it forward, so we'll go to the first scrum. 
Uh, got an opportunity here for Auckland. I think we will see them uh, going up the inside channel early on. Uh, started a bit scratchy last week, so I think they'll be uh, trying hard this week just to set up things down and play, uh, play closer uh, to the start of the game. Touch. One or two changes in the Auckland full pack from last week. Not a bad start by the North Otago scrum as uh, Munro. And he keeps going, Lockie Munro. And they've let him go. Or he just had his ankles, uh, ankles clipped together, waiting to deliver the ball. Moa slips it up and there's a try early on here. And uh, it's scored by Jarek Gobel. And uh, Auckland making the best possible start. They just let Lockie Munro continue to run. And I thought he was going to do it all on his own. He just had his ankles uh, clipped together. But Jarek Gobel has scored. Uh, great start here by Lockie, taking it to the line uh, very hard. Uh, it's, he's really uh, improved this part of his game so far this year already, just been able to take the ball to the line. Once he was out of the advantage line, it was an easy try in the corner. Best possible start for Jarek Gobel, but uh, Munro, we know he's a very good runner, Stewie, and uh, they just didn't put him away. Yeah, I mean, he scored two against Poverty Bay last week, but that was a good pass by Mo to just find the last outside man. But... They would be having a serious talk down there on the North Otago goal line about first up tackles. That was a little gap that this guy's very, very talented. And uh, Steve, they've been quite patient with this guy in the 10 jersey, haven't they? He's been around, I think this is his third year. Uh, limited, limited opportunities the last few years with uh, Issa Nasiwa, but uh, yeah, obviously a big year for him to be able to step up this year with no other first five uh, in the squad. So hopefully uh, a lot of game time this year for Lockie. Nice kick first up, it's a beauty. Just brought it round on a slight breeze. And so Jarek Gobel scores the first try. Lockie Munro, who made the try, converts it. And Auckland away to the best possible start. Two minutes gone and they lead 7 to nil. So Michael Hoare to get us going. Not quite controlled by the intended taker of the ball, but still there for Auckland. Now Munro, they're going to uh, shift it again in uh, midfield, and they again have got big numbers here. Has uh, Auckland, here's the open side flanker, Saili, and he's been allowed to run now. Gobel again has space, and they haven't put him away yet, and they're not going to put him away now either. And Auckland have run it from the kickoff, and have scored again, and Jarek Gobel has scored two tries in three minutes. Uh, great start by Auckland, uh, seeing space off the kickoff wide, uh, not afraid at all to move the ball into that space, and uh, just uh, simple, simple ball movement beats the player. Great hands, already a, a huge turnaround from last week, the Auckland uh, being able to hang on to the ball, to numerous sets of hands, and then in the end just too much speed. Well, just pace. And, uh, the try has been converted by Munro, so 14 points to nil. And uh, Jarek Gobel had a few problems under the high ball in Gisborne initially. Well, his confidence will be right up here with a couple of tries in three minutes. He's a bit of a big man. This is he just beat that man beautifully, set the pass up. Peter Saeli, that's outstanding for the big uh, the big uh, flanker, Steve. Yeah, let's hope North Otago can get their hands on the ball and settle let's themselves into this goal. game. Two goals, two goals out. Leave his head, leave his head, he'll get out. Well, Auckland haven't committed all of their forwards to this uh, rolling ball. They do have some loose forwards out on the back line, and those uh, players created some gaps. And here's another uh, big burst coming here. There's an opportunity. Moa's got the ball, and... Just dragged and down was uh, Dean Butt, who made the initial surge. The North Otago just need to get uh, make some tackles. There's another try coming up here, and it's going to be scored easily by Winston Stanley. And uh, North Otago will be shell-shocked because we've had three tries and uh, not five minutes gone in the game as yet. I think North Otago were looking for Auckland to go wide here and the forward snuck it around the corner. Uh, great work by Dean Budd. Great support play by Tony Alamoa, as always. He's always there or thereabouts. Um, and once again, kept the ball under control. Uh, again, a couple of simple wide passes, finding space, and uh, 
third try in as many minutes almost. Steve, you rate that guy, Dean Bud, don't you? Mate, he's a tremendous athlete, and uh, I think we'll be hearing a, a lot more of his name around in the next few years or so. His old man, uh, Mike Bud, will be pleased to see his son get an early touch down the side. <laughs> I don't ever saw Mike Bud run with the ball in a locks jersey. Well, Mike Bud, of course, uh, played a lot of rugby for, uh, well, it was North Auckland, I guess, in those it was, days. Yep, yeah. yeah. So the try was scored in the end by Winston Stanley, the younger brother of uh, Benson Stanley. It's been converted, three converted tries, and six minutes gone, 21 to nil. Kickoff is made by Michael Hoare. And uh, North Otago will just need to get up and make some tackles. Wait for Auckland to make a mistake. They haven't made too many of those as yet. That's a better tackle. Made by Ross Hay. Ball has been knocked the on here by North Otago. But they're in there competing. Intentional. And oh, he's ruled it as an intentional, intentional knock on. Knock. The ball was knocked down. It's a bit better by North Otago, uh, making a few tackles, holding them. Uh, unfortunate penalty, but uh, hopefully they can uh, get their hands on the ball. I'm quite interested to see what they're going to do today. Put it up, let's make a different goal. Well, they just had, haven't had any possession at all. Auckland have monopolised that. Three tries, two to Goble, one to Stanley. All three converted. Try and get it wider. Tom McCartney to throw to the line out. Plenty of targets here. You've got a player like Curtis Hayu playing on the side of the scrum. And it was Hayu who took that down. Here goes Munro. Now Stanley. In comes uh, fullback Toiyava. Opportunity for Tui Palotu. Running with real purpose, Auckland uh, today. Moa, inside channel used by Munro. North Otago again having to make tackles. Munro this time spins it wide to McCartney. And a hook it goes to ground. Let's go, Blue! Might be a turnover here. Chance of yes. North Otago. Well, this at least gives them the ball. Uh, Auckland just isolated themselves a little bit there on that on that phase, and uh, well done by the loose forwards, North Otago turning the ball over. I think we have to make the point here too, uh, Steve, that this North Otago team today is picked purely from players in the area. Now, when it comes to the uh, Heartland Championship, of course they will have lone players in, no doubt, from Otago, and uh, they've had several very successful ones too. It's yeah, certainly very difficult for them just keeping locally. Uh, they do get uh, a few players from uh, the uh, Targo club competition, so uh, it's certainly good for, for the local talent to be playing a sure game. Well, the hooker balked that, but uh, the referee, I think, probably played an advantage. Yeah, he's uh, gone back, and it will be a free kick against North Otago. Calm down, OK? It's a balk by goals. Oh, yes, sorry. he did have his arm up the wrong way, <laughs> yes. North Otago thought it was their free kick, but indeed it wasn't. Now here goes Ben Artinga, captaining Auckland today. So a change in the uh, the captaincy. Loose head prop uh, to Vito Milo. Now his mower. Away it goes to uh, quick hands to Peloto diving for the corner. And there's try number four. Lovely hands in there. I think the last pass thrown by uh, Toyaba. And uh, Tui Peloto who picked up a try in uh, the game in Gisborne, might have damaged himself as he made the dive for the corner. Nobody seems very interested in him. He's sitting there, or lying there, and there's no one within sight. It's just the ability to get over the advantage line easily with quick ball. Uh, numerous options you see there from Auckland. There was uh, endless possibilities. Move the ball to the corner to space, and uh, again, another try. Steve, beautiful hands by Isaiah Tuayava just to palm the ball on for that last for the last pass to find uh, Mapa Tuipalutubin. I'm not too sure where he, he just got banged when he was going over the line in a tackle. And he's certainly in, in some serious trouble down on that far corner. It yeah, looks like, like the calf, uh, yeah. Stewie. Fairly sizable ones too, I might add, on the boy. Yes. 
just back to Tui Alva Stewart, an absolute tremendous talent, and uh, I know he's looking forward to having a big year. Had a few injuries through Super 12, and I know he's worked hard on getting them right, and uh, he's certainly looking forward to having a big NPC this year. Lovely kick by Lockie Munro. So he's had a couple of easy ones, but he's also had a couple of touchline conversions to convert. And uh, Tui Pelotu is limping back into position. He's going to stay on for the moment anyway, but 28 points to nil. Four converted tries and 11 minutes gone first half. Munro kicks. That certainly is a change of tactic. Whoop, and beats the fullback. Tim uh, Milmine. Puts a little one in and can't regain it. And here comes uh, Moa. Gets the pass off to Kanima. Uh, the big uh, lock forward, and uh, here they go again, spreading a North Otago wide. Not sure whether Mapa Tupelotu is quite right. He wasn't quite up with the play there. Again, the inside channel used by Auckland. Very quick recycling of the ball. Big improvement from last week. And uh, North Otago just looking a little bit overwhelmed by all this at the moment. Now Hayu gets the pass off to McCartney, lobs it beautifully, and here goes Stanley. Another try coming up. Winston Stanley's picked up a couple as well, and he goes round almost behind the posts. And Auckland running a riot at the moment. North Otago just can't get themselves into this game at all. Auckland's ability just to hang on to the ball and, and move it to space again. Uh, North Otago not playing with a with a fullback uh, in the line, so uh, once the line break has been made, it's an easy easy romp to the line. What they're doing today, what they didn't do at Gizzy uh, last Tuesday afternoon, was that they had a fair number of handling errors down in Gisborne, and today, better security on the ball, better patience with the ball, finding the guys. I don't think one's gone down yet, Stewie. No, is that right? handling errors be very low off the blue and white. Time, <laughs> Two tries to Winston Stanley, the 19-year-old. Two tries to Jarek Goble. One to Mapa Tui Pelotu. So numbers 11, 13 and 14 have scored all the tries. So that'll be encouraging for Pat Lamb. Kickoff from Michael Hoare. Taken down by Dean Barton. They're just not uh, making the contact area very competitive at the moment in North Otago. Again, they go wide off, and again, they've got numbers. And again, they've got the big number seven, Peter Saini, sprinting hard. Lobs it back and field, a hopeful pass. Munro keeps it on the boot. Munro, and he might be beaten to this. And I think he has been beaten to a good effort by Lemmy Marsoi. And he saved the day. And Lockie Munro's got a bit of a limp on now. Great chase from Marsoi coming from the far wing. That was probably the first uh, poor pass that we've seen Auckland try and find a, a support runner. And snuffed at the goal line. Good scrambling defence by Marsoi to prevent another Auckland try. A couple of Auckland players down at the moment. Uh, well, that's beaten Peter Saili. Well, he looks impressive, this guy. He looks like a real athlete playing on the side of the scrum. But uh, I think Taniela Moa, Stu, might be heading your way. Looks like he might be off the field. Get them going, get them going. Keep working, Keep working, Toy. So we'll just get that change in a moment, uh, but play carries on as Falmawina, the tight head prop for Auckland, throws the pass into the field. Ball is there, haven't got a half back at the moment. No, so, uh, Tanimala is just on the sideline, and Grayson Hart just waiting to be injected into the game. So Maybe no, this time. Uh, that, that's an injury, it's not a blood bin. No, it's a leg injury. I think it was a calf muscle, Stu, is that right? Must be this lightning fast, hard ground at Omaru. Auckland boys not used to these red hot 
surfaces to run on, Steve. Certainly a beautiful surface here, to give it its official name. Winston Contracting Stadium. Oh, somebody's got to pay the bills. So Grace and Hart, there he is, he's going to have a tussle yeah. with uh, Hamish that, McKenzie. Yeah. McKenzie's been around a while, he won't stand any nonsense. Great to see two halfbacks going at it after one and a half seconds. <laughs> yes, exactly. You could relate to that. 15 minutes gone in the first half, and Auckland have scored five converted tries already. Again, the scrum looks good. It looked good after the first Auckland put in two. Now it's been knocked on here by Michael Hoare. It was a bit of an untidy pass anyway. Grayson Hart just getting in, knocking the ball down, knocking the arm down. Uh, then a slight knock on. I was certainly interested there to see what North Otago had. Um, I'm looking forward to them getting the ball in hand and having a bit of a, a, bit of a run around. And possession's been a real problem for them. 80% possession for Auckland. So Grayson Hart on the field early in the match. Away it goes uh, for Munro. He looks well recovered. Could have been using the in pass quite a lot so far in the game. Now it's with uh, Stanley. Toi Ava quick hands again for right winger Jarrett Gobel. Certainly getting numbers to the ball. But uh, this time an Auckland player diving in off his feet. Now North Otago looking to take it quickly. I don't know whether that was a good idea, really. They could have made a decent 20 or 30 metres with a kick. Now it comes to McKenzie. Goes to the big lock forward. Simply lower. McKenzie now for four. Sione Aho, the number eight forward, his debut season. McKenzie looking to get through the gap. Taken in a nice tackle by Chris Lowry. But uh, doing well here, North Otago. Not making a lot of ground, but at least getting a hold of the ball and hanging on to it. Now a flat pass, or it's been knocked down by Fonua. Not sure the pass was really intended for him, and he's knocked it on. So an Auckland scrum. I'll give you an update on Taniola Moa's right ankle. It's now got a nice big ice pack around it, and I would say that he would be gone for the day. Well, a bit of a coach's nightmare, of course, uh, with the Air New Zealand Cup around about 10 days Touch. away. A great opportunity for Grayson Hart today now. Uh, was in the water training group for the for the Blues team this year. Great hands. Oh, lovely hands from Goble. Beautifully done. Now it's been snapped up by Lowry. Back to Hart. And Grayson Hart. He's only been on the field a couple of minutes. And the man in the number 20 jersey, Grayson Hart, scores try number six for Auckland. Once again, Auckland getting over the advantage line uh, pretty easily. Uh, a few loose passes in there, but managing to, to pick it up and keep running with it. Uh, um. Beautiful hands by Goble. Lowry doing the tidying up. Must uh, feel, if you're in a North Otago jersey, that Auckland have got about 35 players on the field. Tuiava, just his ability to give himself so much time under pressure and, and get a pass away. He's done it several times today already. It certainly is a, uh, a class act. Well, he's certainly got his kicking boots on Lockie Monroe last week uh, against uh, Poverty Bay. Five out of six conversions, scored a couple of tries. The radar going pretty good today at five from five. And another one goes over, so that's six from six. Six tries, all converted. And Auckland lead 42 points to nil. And we're just at the halfway mark in this first half. Kick 
kickoff made, claimed by Chris Lowry, the number eight forward for Auckland. Back to Munro. Stanley, Toiava again stepping and uh, showing too much pace. Again, lines up Goble. He's got support from Saeli. Trying to hang on desperately, Goble. They're not putting him away. And he just go keeps going. And another try, Jarek Goble. Well, he did well, but uh, North Otago just kept falling off the tackles. And uh, try number seven comes up very quickly, and Goble has three. Auckland have been very smart. Uh, if North Otago leaving a fullback and two wingers back from the kickoff, then they're looking to run the ball wide into the space that there is. Uh, we have seen Lockie Munro kick once when the when the when the fullback uh, with the winger sorry came up into the line. But we just see too much time, too much space for Tuiava. Had options either side, and Goble just too strong, too fast. That Tuiava made that look so good. He just stepped on the inside, through the gap, straightened the whole line up. And this guy, Gobel, he just, in and out, worked pretty hard to get that uh, that try. But watch this. He's just off the right foot, finds some space, too quick. Scrambly defence couldn't get him, just loads the pass, in and out. That's the little shimmy, breaks the tackle, cuts inside, brushes another one. Pretty good effort by the 14. To dot that one down, he had to work for it. So 49 points to nil. Tipped on the Auckland side. Controlled in the back here by uh, Hayu. Uh, driving them on. The open side wing has come up, so I think we could be looking for a kick here from Auckland. Two out. Push, push, push. That's one. That's one half. That's one. So with the, the new half. laws, uh, Nisbo, they can't pull that down um, just by falling in front of their feet, can they? That more. Uh, there's, there's a way of doing it. Yeah. You, you can't go around the ankles. Tackle there by uh, North Otago. Great yeah. opportunity for North Otago to get themselves in the game. They just need to hang on to the ball and run straight and hard for a little while. There you go, Blue. Comes to McKenzie, gets it across to Cunningham, the two most experienced players. Cunningham broke the first tackle. Now it's with uh, the hands blow, Ross no. Hay, who's never far from the ball. McKenzie now, number eight, Aho. Well, that wasn't a great pass because it put McKenzie in a very difficult position. We do very well if this comes back on the North Otago side, but it looks like it's going to. And a good run at uh, the gap made by the right winger, Lemmy Maso, who's played pretty well so far. And this time Auckland are penalised. The credit to North Otago again, just running straight and hard for probably the first time in the game. They get a bit of ball and just taking it to the line, running straight and hard. Have a shot at goal. Player down injured, but uh, able to move or you're away? going to have a shot at goal. Otago obviously keen to get on the board. 